Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. First of all, let me do a quick side note, man. As far as Stephen A. Smith's uh, open challenge to come debate him, boy, I would love to do that, man. I'm not even going to lie, man. I got half a mind to put together my audition tapes and just send that shit to ESPN. But you know what I'm saying? Then again, they wouldn't like what I would have to say. But then again, they might would need the censors. So the six second uh, delay, because, you know, in case you guys know, whenever uh, you on TV, no event is actually live, live. It's always a six second tape delay. Just in case you say something that they can quickly uh, beep out or something like that. That's how uh, live television works. So-called live television. So it's not technically live. It's more like six seconds ahead. But anyway, man, let me do a quick side note, man. Um, I heard Skip Bayless once again hating on um, Allen Iverson. Once again, Skip Bayless sometimes can't put his personal feelings aside for people he can't distinguish the difference between his personal feeling towards people than, you know, what a great athlete contributed to whatever his or her sport was. First of all, Allen Iverson was a beast. What fucking team he had that was any good? It's a miracle that 76 er team went to the finals. Everybody knew they had no chance against the Lakers. To be honest with you, for Allen Iverson to get one game out of that series was a miracle to me. I thought the Lakers was going to sweep them, you know, to be honest with you. And they at least got one game out of that series before they eventually lost in five because the Lakers were a far superior team. Allen Iverson played with people like <laughs> Eric Snow, Dikembe Mutombo, but Tim, uh, I don't know, look, we already know Dikembe Mutombo is a Hall of Famer, but he wasn't exactly what you call the offensive weapon. He wasn't a dude you could kick the ball to when he could throw up 30 points because that wasn't his game. You know, they never really tried to build a team around Allen Iverson to sit up there and say he could have got more people involved. Shit, who? What offensive weapon he played with? You know, Iguodawa didn't get there till later. Iguodawa played in Philly for a little bit, but Allen Iverson was already, like, pretty much past his prime a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out how the fuck did you expect him to win? He had no choice but to take the shots he, he took because he was the best person on the team. You know? And like I said, instead of Skip Bayless giving him credit, he trying to downplay what he did, man. He took that team to the NBA Finals. And he deserved more credit than what he's actually getting. This is what made him a Hall of Famer. This is what made Allen Iverson one of the greatest players that ever touched the ball. And this dude was maybe my height at best, 5'11". Can you imagine how good Allen Iverson would have been if he was like six feet six? Yeah, exactly. And this man was very small and he gave it all. I mean, he gave a hundred percent when he played. So Skip Bayless need to talk, stop talking that stupid shit. he be talking, man, just like the same way he won't give Floyd his, his credit, no matter what he won't acknowledge anything that Floyd did. But anyway, he, he don't know shit about boxing anyway. Shit. He barely know anything about basketball, but that's just how Skip Bayless is, man. And I think, to a certain degree, he's pathetic, and that's why he always gives somebody who knows what they're talking about room to destroy him in a debate. Like I said, Allen Iverson was one of the great ones. He's a real great one. There is nobody that ever watched a game of basketball that knows this board will tell you that Allen Iverson was a mediocre player. And if they tell you some shit like that, they lying. I'm out.